Hello, and welcome to my latest video. This time, we are going to be finding the area of triangles in grids. Last time, we found the area of parallelograms. This time, we're finding the area of triangles. You have to understand parallelograms before you can understand triangles. So if you don't remember how parallelograms work, go back and watch that other video. Okay, so if you're ready, let's find the area of a triangle if it's in a grid. Again, there will be another video outside of a grid. That's a different video. Here's a triangle. It's in a grid. Now, I'm going to do something that demonstrates it. This is not what we're going to emphasize. All right here, I'm going to measure the length of this bottom side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm going to draw a line segment up here to the left, eight segments long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to connect those two lines. What I have done is I've copied this triangle and put it over here, and that makes a parallelogram. Remember in a parallelogram that the area is base times height. Base times height. So let's find the base and the height of this parallelogram. It has to be along a grid line, so this is 8, and then it has to be the distance to the other side, and here's the other side, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, it would be 8 times 6, which is 48. So the area of the parallelogram is 48. But do you see how that triangle is half? of the parallelogram. It takes two triangles to make the parallelogram, so each parallelogram is half as big. Therefore, we don't want 48. We want 48 divided by 2, which is 24. So that makes the area of a triangle equal to the base times the height divided by 2 because it is a triangle. Base times height is a parallelogram, and a triangle is half of that, so it's a parallelogram divided by 2 makes a triangle. All right, and that's what we're going to do. So here's the same triangle. We should still get 24, but we're only going to do base times height. All right, remember a base is a side of the shape. A triangle has three sides. Which ones do I want to use? I could use this one, but that is not along the grid lines, so I don't want to use that one. I could use this one, but that is not along the grid lines, so I'm not going to use that one. I could use this one, and that one is along the the grid line, so that's the one I'm going to use. This is going to be our base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is its length, so our base is eight. Then we want the height. Remember the height is the distance from the base to the other side. So here I'm going to start at the base. I'm going to go up towards the other side. That's not tall enough because the other side is way up here. See how the other side is way up here? So I have to continue there. And our height will be that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight times six, but because this is a triangle, we have to divide by two. And remember, there's a right angle. So 8 times 6 is 48, divided by 2 is 24 square units. So base times height divided by 2, where the base is the side of the shape and the height is the distance from the base to the other side. Here's a new triangle. Let's find the base. Well, I, I don't want to use that one because it's not along the grid lines. I don't want to use this one because it's not along the grid lines. I'll have to use this one because it is along the grid lines. Let's see the base. How long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Now I need the height, so I need to start at the base and go up to the top. 
Well, the top is way up here. So one, two, three, four, five. Seven times five, but because it's a triangle, and notice there's a nice right angle, but because it's a triangle, I have to divide by two, because two triangles make a parallelogram. Seven times five is 35. 35 divided by two is 14 and a half. Do I mean that? No, I got it wrong. Let me get it right. Oops, erase. 14, not 14, 17 and a half, or 17.5. You will have a calculator to use, so don't worry about the arithmetic. To do 35 divided by two, you'll just plug it in. 17.5 square units is the area of this one. Let's move on. Here's another one. Which side is along the grid lines? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. This time the base is the left side because it's the side that's along the grid lines. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the height. This side doesn't go far enough, but it does go to here. Remember, that's a nice right angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six times eight divided by two is 24. 24 square units. All right, next one. Which side do I want to be the base this time? Do I want this one? No, that's not along the grid lines. Do I want this one? No, that's not along the grid lines. This time the base is going to be the top cause it's along, because it is along the grid lines. So let's see how long that is. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Then we need the height. It needs to go to the other side. One, two. There's the other side. 13 times two, and then we divide by two. Notice a right angle because it's a triangle. 13 times two is 26. 26 divided by two is 13. Essentially, those twos cancel each other out. 13 square units. One more. Here's a triangle. Which side is along the grid lines? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. It's this one. This, time's the this time the base is on the right side. It's one, two, three, four. Base is four. The height, let's go. So I wanna go all the way to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, haven't made it yet. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Four times 12, notice a right angle. Then we divide by two because it's a triangle. Four times 12 is 48. 48 divided by two is 24 square units. Base times height divided by two, where the base is one of the sides, and you want to use a side that's along the grid lines, and the height is the distance to the other side, and then divide by two because it is a triangle. I hope this makes sense. Sorry about the background noise, but I only do these things in one take, so that's as good as it gets. Bye.